Okay, so I've got my cool little package from Rycoat. Uh, this is for the baseball, and I've got my Shops MK41 there. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a little unboxing video and then uh, test it. So, let's see what we think. Very nice little package. Baseball 19 to 20, this is the diameter. Um, so, for the. Uh, that's just what they sent me. Okay, brilliant. So, let's open it up. Nice. I really like the size. It's uh, nice and compact. I have another one that I'll compare it with later that's actually made by Shops. Or Shrubs, I always forget. Nice, smooth fit. Okay, and that shouldn't be too bad. So let me just get my suspension and uh, compare it to the other one that shops actually make. So, I have three things, basically. I have the original part, this is also from Sherps, um, and it's, it's a bit big, unfortunately. That's the problem that I've had with it, as well as the actual cage inside. It seems to just have kind of four plastic prongs, and um, yeah, I've been getting some kind of handling noise occasionally from it. Uh, not a much chance to use it, it is a bit big, and obviously uh, the kind of factor of size means that when you're swinging in between both, you're actually obviously dragging more air, um, and inside it's not as tightly packed as the uh, Rycott one seems to be, so you need the right combination between um, the right size, uh, but also enough inside to cut down the drag without impeding performance. Um, I've usually been using just a foam, indoor foam shield. It's not really great for uh, swinging really hard, but it's uh, it's just something to help protect in case, I don't know, people laugh, go, something like that. Um, so it's good for kind of minor rolls. But anyway, let's get into talking about and comparing. Okay, so first up I have the uh, just normal little wind foam. Um, so I guess I'm just going to do some tests, just kind of gently blowing on it first. Yeah, that looks like that's reading. It's very thin foam, and uh, let's just try swinging it back and forth. Now again, you will want to use uh, headphones to view this video to get all the bass response that's going to come through there. Um, I've got an 80 hertz cut. Uh, that's my kind of default thing um, that I just use on everything. I find everything below 80 hertz is not really uh, used that much, especially in the dialogue. Again, sometimes depending on voice. Uh, but now let's try uh, the basically the manufacturer's one. That, that is, again, the W5D. So, uh, obviously much bigger, maybe problematic for you. And uh, gently blowing on it. So that looked like it hardly registered at all. And uh, now just swinging it back and forth. So yeah, looks like um, on the levels, again, I haven't listened back to it yet, but uh, it looks like it's definitely been reduced. And that's kind of what I expected. This is basically a purpose-built solution for this. The indoor mic, again, is just more for static. Uh, scenarios and just the occasional light breeze, a very, very light breeze. Okay, so now obviously I sound, or should sound fine, pointed directly at my face. Uh, gentle blow, test. Looks like it's coming up a bit more actually. Um, and now the swing. Wow. Not even registering. Um, so, again, I'll just give you a quick cut when I edit them all together of just swinging them all apart and uh, you can get them in quick succession. Alright, brilliant. So, this is the Rycott Baseball. Um, yeah, definitely going to be using it. 
it's going to I think it's going to really improve especially for indoors might even just replace my normal foam altogether because even with a little uh, breath on it occasionally or just having to swing in between people I think they've done a really good job the size is right uh, the kind of the mechanism for holding it is much better I find and it's nicely densely packed without really adding any weight it just feels like a little foam ball um, so very very impressed um, if you've had any experience with it again in the comments below as always you can like this video and of course share it about um, trying to do more and more reviews when I can currently just finished doing 18 days in a row on various different projects so um, unfortunately my video content hasn't been able to keep up but you can check me out for daily stuff on Instagram if you'd search sound rolling um, at sound rolling then you'll be able to find me on there and I'm trying to post more stuff daily as well as do some kind of live spontaneous on set stuff as well uh, just to answer questions share knowledge and hopefully uh, better everyone in the community by just having a general point of me sharing my view not necessarily the right, right way to do it I haven't tried everything obviously um, but yeah that's the kind of vibe if this is the first time that you're joining me so I've been Matt Price soundrolling.com seconds on set Save hours in post.